Okay, let's look at configuring Cisco routers for port address translation or PAT. So we have a Cisco router right here. I'm going to connect up. It already has a name and it already has configuration. So we're going to take a look at the running configuration to see what it looks like. We can see that there are two interfaces, Fast Ethernet 00 and Fast Ethernet 01. And both of these have IP addresses already assigned. The first one, um, is 00, we're going to assume this one is the external interface. So it's on the outside. And the internal one is Fast, e Fast Ethernet 01. And we are going to configure NAT so that IP addresses in the 192.168.0.0 slash 24 network will be translated into the external IP address of the external interface. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So there are a couple things we need to do in order to do this. First of all, we need to make sure we mark each of the interfaces as either inside or outside. So 00 is on the outside, 01 is in, on the inside. So I'll do config terminal and go in here. Now I go into the interface 00, zero which is on the outside, and I do IP NAT outside. And then I go into the other one, which is 0 slash 1, and I want to mark it as IP NAT inside. All right, now that I have them both marked, when you translate addresses, you need to have some kind of a pool to filter which addresses are going to be NATed and which ones are not. So I want to create an access list to define the inside IP addresses, which are 192.168.0.0 slash 24. So I'll do access list, and it's going to be a standard access list, so access list 10, and it's going to be a permit. And what we're going to do is 192.168.0.0, and we're going to give it the mask of 0.0.0.255 is a wildcard mask. So we're going to permit everything in the 192.168.0.0 slash 24 network. There's also the um, implicit deny. So everything after this is going to be denied. So only addresses in this range are going to be allowed. All right. Next, we want to configure it so that, well, we can do two different ways. We can either have it use the external IP address, use the interface address, or we can use a pool of addresses in order to give it the IP address we want. So let's go ahead and create a pool. IP not pool. And you have to name your pool. So we're going to call this pool outside adder, outside adder. That's a nice name. And we want to give it the starting address. So we're just going to give it the external IP address. We could give it a whole range if we wanted. 172.16.0.1 is the start address. And the end address is 172.16.0.1. So it's just one address. And we're going to have a prefix length because when the addresses leave, they want to know which, which network they're part of. And this is actually a slash 24. All right. So now we've created our outside adder pool. Now it's time to connect everything all together and define the inside, the outside, and how it's all going to be added. So we do IP NAT. And we want to pick the source addresses. IP NAT inside inside source is going to be the access list 10 and then we have to decide do we want to use a pool of addresses or do we want to use the interface so if we want to use the pool we do pool and then we tell it the name of the pool which is outside adder and uh, now we're doing pat Pat is overload, so we type in overload. 
and this would be all we need to do in order to use a pool. However, we don't have to use a pool because we have an interface and if it's possibly added to change later, we can use the interface instead. And then if the interface address changes, we can do that. So interface, and it's fast either at zero slash zero since that's the outside and we can do the overload again. And there we go. So exit out here and we can show our running config and you can see the configuration right here. So we have the outside interface marked, the inside interface marked. We created a pool, even though we're not using the pool. And then we're using this command right here to overload our external interface and allow everything on the inside to leave and it'll be natted into our external IP address on the way out. And that is how you configure PAT on a Cisco router.